A big hello to everyone. If you have such a cheap stapler laying around and it uh, the stapler is not the stapler is not working well, don't hurry to throw it away. Now I will show what new tool can be made out of such a stapler. First and foremost, friends, we need to disassemble it a bit. To do this, we need to unscrew this bolt, a bolt that adjusts the impact strength. Inside there is a spring installed. Then I took such a small minus screwdriver and uh, with a light movement of the hand uh, first we remove one lock washer then the other one that's it uh, this is what they look like we put them aside uh, then you need to pull out these pins uh, or splinters whichever he calls that we collide them they are not fixed anymore here is one here is the second <coughs> nothing too difficult next we pull out two pins we pull out this part, uh, pull out the spring, and all that's left for us is to remove this part, but don't forget to pull it out. Here's this pusher for brackets, basically, that's it. To be continued. We extract this part, then we remove this part. What do we do next, guys? Look, you need to drill a hole here, through and through, all the way up to here. A rubber band is installed here. We just take a 4.5 mm drill and drill. We clamp it through in the vise. That's basically all the modifications. Now, after you have drilled, we need to assemble everything back. Nothing complicated. Uh, we install this part in this way. We install this detail in reverse order. Insert the pins into place. Uh, Now friends, showing what will be needed next, uh, we take a regular dowel, we cut off the cap of the small one, we don't round it off. Retreat 19 millimeters from the edge on the sandpaper washer that comes with the dowel and uh, we solder it with standard solder. We wind the solder, heat it with a torch, it flows and gets soldered. Then we insert this part into this hole. Mm -hmm dowel to the end so that it right here the rubber band is installed just enter this rubber band and didn't fall back anywhere uh, now we have managed to make such a thing from the old non-working stapler the thread cutter is automatic meaning it's very convenient to cut threads on metal with it before drilling anything i will now demonstrate how it works let's take this profile here and try to cut a groove into it To demonstrate the full power of this kiln, uh, I'll show you right now how you can easily use this tool to uh, break the champagne bottle with a short... Uh, here, look friends, uh, the power is quite good, so the tool is worth it, and I think it will come in handy for everyone. Just take the automatic kiln, mark those places where you need to kiln, we install, we clearly mark all this stuff. and. We're drilling. So guys, take note, the idea really works, it's solid, and that's it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit like. Uh, it's not hard for you, but it's pleasant for me. I wish wishing everyone robust health. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Uh